Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer, and let's take a look at uh, things for today. The atmospheric river is going to push out its final surge in the form of two different uh, low pressures that will entrain this final batch of moisture and then move it into the west coast and we're going to see some very big totals not just from california on top of what you've seen but and they're going to move those big totals into utah parts of wyoming and colorado as well the pacific northwest parts of bc northern new mexico there's a lot of places that will benefit from this last very long surge like a three to four day surge of moisture coming in um, and then we're going to watch a pattern shift and i'm going to take you into this and show you what the jet's going to look like by the time we get uh, into post atmospheric river phase here. Um, this has been like a 15 day unbelievable surge that we've seen. Um, let me first take you into the, uh, the water vapor loop here. So on this, the oranges and reds represent the drier air aloft. And let me just mark some of the features. Here's your rich flow, your uh, pineapple express still absolutely in place, nailing the west coast. And then you've got, here it is, this big boy low right here moving in and then there's one behind it so this represents number one and number two the final two pieces of this atmospheric river and both of them will move through california and then affect the inner mountain west with lots of snow so the entire west coast will get in on this action i mean in fact you can see it in the ivt transport forecast here from the GEFS model, and you can see the brighter colors done by latitude out 16 days. So you've got a big surge coming in through 12, 13, 14 with low one, and then low number two, 15, 16, 17, and then that's it. Behind it, the flow really dries up, and the pattern shifts. The jet stream will relocate the heaviest moisture, and the game is over. And that's, that's the end of it after a very long phase of this. In fact, let me show you what the jet will look like come the 21st. So by then, it's a much, much different pattern. I mean, you're looking at um, a lot of ridging. You're looking at some big troughs and dips in the jet at this point. Um, across the west, there's generally higher pressures over um, parts of California. And there's a north to south jet knifing out of Canada, which may benefit Montana, Wyoming, Colorado early on, you know, 18, 19, 20, 20, maybe 21. But then that fades because there's actually a large ridge here over the Pacific. And what's going to happen is that's probably going to build in to the West Coast. Um, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, somewhere in there. All right, let me take you into the future aspect of this. So let's go back here and let me show you the forecast for the radar and satellite. So by the time we get into Friday morning, Pacific Northwest BC getting hammered, then we start to see the shift. Here it comes. There's one low moving in. It's the interior, second low right there, the final one on 16. And that moves into the interior and takes more of a southern track, which is going to benefit southern Utah Snow Bowl, Arizona, and uh, northern New Mexico, and southwest Colorado. And then look at that. On Late on the 17th, you see what the shift is happening up there in the Pacific Northwest, in the BC areas. You've got the flow directed at you at that point, and that's going to be the case for a few days. So there is definitely a change happening late in the period. All right, let me talk about uh, forecast totals. So here's the first period. Basically all of today through the 14th. Um, you still got basically one to two feet to go in California. Shasta starts to get nicked by the final phase, and so your totals are higher. Pacific Northwest does well. But generally, look at the second period. Here we are. It's much, much bigger. 115 through 121, another two feet in the Sierra. So you're potentially between now and the very end of this looking at another three feet of snow. In the Sierra grand total and then that will probably be it for this very prolonged atmospheric river phase Pacific Northwest does very well because even beyond this period the flow will be rich through this area I mean we could be looking at three feet four feet I mean look at Baker goodness gracious Idaho does well the Tetons another foot and potentially I've got the Wasatch at three feet um, just during that period, that five to six day period. Um, I was looking at some video this morning out of uh, Cottonwood, uh, Little Cottonwood, 
um, amazing uh, avalanche ripping down the. It looked like it was, it was uh, intentional, um, mitigated, but uh, just incredible up 210 out there in Little Cottonwood. All right, one to two feet, Brian head down a snowball and look at Colorado, the western slope one to two feet on the way during that period. Um, it should be very good. Vale west down into the San Juans. And one last stop, guys. All of today through the 21st in the northeast. Um, a little explanation here. So the 12th and the 13th the storm one, but that goes from snow over to rain. So there isn't going to be a whole lot of accumulation. These big numbers you see here actually come very late in the period. 119, 120, 121. There may be a larger storm there with some colder air and a more optimistic type of track which could put down these types of numbers. All right, guys, there you go. We've still got a lot of snow yet to go, but certainly the end is in sight for this atmospheric river. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.